Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will configure Siemens logo PLC as Modbus PCP client. Here, I have set up Snyder M172 PLC as Modbus server and configured two holding registers, that is at 48960 and 48961. A 48960 address, I have configured a digital output of M172 PLC and at 48961 address, we will read the feedback of the DU. Then I will trigger one address from logo PLC and then turn the DO on and off. I will demonstrate two different methods of configuration in this video. So keep watching till the end. This is take one. There are two different addresses, tag 1 and tag 2. If tag 1 is high, it will generate a DO. And with the same tag 1, I will trigger tag 2. Let us first check this logic in the Snyder building using this ModScan software. You can see the address at the 961 is also changing as per the logic we have developed. The same thing we will do with the logo PLC. Right now I am testing with the mod, mod scan. Later on we will trigger this DO with the Siemens logo PLC. Creating a new project. I am using Logos of Comfort version 8.2. Logo PLC is also connected in my network. In this method 1, I will directly define the remote address to the network block. Take this network output block, double click on it and select the remote device option. Now here, enter the IP address of the Modbus server and select the Modbus compatible device in the device type. Also enter the port and unit ID. Select the HR for holding register and enter the address that we would like to write. This green color of the block indicates that it has some external network connection. And you can also observe this yellow symbol. Now let us download this program to the PLC. Thank you. 
Downloading completed. Double click on this symbol to check the network address and data transfer parameters. Now let's test the Modbus connection. From this, from this data table, you can read or write the variables of the PLC. PW0. Now let us change the value in logo PLC and you can observe our digital output of Snyder PLC is turning on and off. So we are sending command from logo plc to schneider and from the configured inside logic it is changing the digital output on and off. Now to configure using method 2, I am removing this Modbus connection. Method 2, multiple address assignment. Right click on the PLC in the network project section and create a new Modbus connection. Enter the IP address and port number of the Modbus server. In case you would like to read or write multiple addresses, you can increase the length of the addresses. Unit ID or device ID you need to define here and select the direction whether you would like to read or write. Here for testing purpose I am reading and writing only one word. Save the project. From VW0, we will send the command and VW2, we will read the status.
downloading to the PLC. going online now let us check this now let us check our address is in data table now you can observe as soon as I am changing VW0, it is changing the output and at the same time we are receiving the status from the address 48961 that we have read on the address VW2. So by this method you can define multiple addresses on the single connection. So friends, I hope you have learned something new from this video. Subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.